welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you about my skincare routine. So I'm going to be showing you what I do in the morning and in the night before I go to bed. If you want to know what kind of products I use, then keep on watching. So before I start off, I'm not wearing anything on my face except for lipstick now. This is my bare um, naked face and I do have a lot of pigmentation on my skin that I'm working my way through. But my focus all these years were to just clear acne in the first place and to reduce the amount of times I get acne on my face. Before I start talking about any of my products, I want to let you guys know my skin type. I have combination oily skin. There are mainly five skin types. It's normal, dry, oily, combination oily and combination dry. And I am combination oily. So that means I get oily on my T-zone and I'm dry on the cheek area and the chin area, like the forehead area. So that it for me to understand what kind of skin type I have, it took me a lot of time to research and understand and did a lot of trial and error with other products and see what worked and what not worked and this is what I have current like currently set. So in the morning I keep my skincare routine very very simple because A I'm running out late all the time and B I don't want my skin to get oily throughout the day because of the products that I put in. So I keep it as simple and essential as possible. For face wash I use the Laneige face wash um, I'm using the Laneige face wash uh, I reviewed about this face wash on my channel before and since then I've been using it I'm still testing it out and using it and I'm genuinely loving it um, in my review I have told that one of my cons was it leaves a residue but honestly when you keep using it it doesn't um, bother you that much because you're gonna exfoliate anyway so yeah um, I'm loving this face wash it's uh, Laneige multi deep cleaning cleanser and this is the travel size so it's the smallest one and you have a bigger packaging as well so that's great for traveling so I'm liking this so far and it hasn't broken me out and it hasn't um, irritated my skin in any way which is great so this is what I use for cleanser after cleanser in the morning I straight away go to a moisturizer so the moisturizer I use is the one that I've been using for almost two years now. It's a huge tub of aloe vera gel. This is from Face Shop. And as you can see, I still have so much to go through. Like it's just not getting over. Um, anyways, this is an amazing product. Honestly, it kind of was one of the first things that changed my skin. Um, I used to suffer with a lot of texture. I still do, but it has improved a lot. And it was around 385 when I got it. Now they've changed the packaging. It's not this packaging anymore. They come in a tube now. And Honestly, this is one of the easiest products. It's a very like gel-like product. It's amazing. It smells good. It's very light on your skin. I kind of want to put it now. It's also very cooling on your skin. So it gives you the hydration that you, you need on for your skin. And it's amazing. I love this product. And keeping my morning skincare routine um, very simple helped me like reduce the amount of oils that I produce and amount of uh, acne that I get. So which is great. So... For my nighttime routine, I if I'm wearing makeup throughout the day, I would start off with removing my makeup. And for that, I use the Garnier um, Micellar Cleansing Water. I, and I use it in a cotton pad, like I go through like two or three of them and I take off my makeup, or at least the most of the makeup I can. And it removes your eye makeup as well, so which is great. So I start off with that. And then I wash my face with the same... Um, face wash that I use in the morning and I wash it with warm water and the reason I use warm water is to just open up your pores and so your products that you're putting after that can go into your skin and thoroughly cleanse your skin. So I use my face wash with warm water and if it's like a normal day then I just go ahead with again the moisturizer and I will stop my cleansing routine there but if I am going um, like full on exfoliating then I go through two other products. So this exfoliator that I use is Miss Claire's exfoliator. It's a holy grail product of in my skincare routine. Honestly, this also changed my life. And I got this on like in full price. It is pretty expensive for like most of my skincare routine is drugstore, and this is like pretty expensive. It's around 1500 for a small tub of exfoliator. So the reason I got this was it also comes with a cute little spatula. So it's also very hygienic but the reason I wanted to get a tub exfoliator was when I was using another previous exfoliator from the face shop the packaging was a tube and exfoliators tend to be very thick and when I was almost like uh, at the very end of the exfoliator it was very hard for me to like 
squeeze in the uh, product to come out and it was not uh, i didn't think it was hygienic enough so i was looking out for a better packaging where it doesn't involve tubes and that's where i that's when i came across this and so i was like it's full price it's 1500 but let me give it a chance and it honestly really really helped uh, my skin so it basically looks like that um and it is a it's called Claire's gentle black sugar facial polish it exfoliates dead skin cell controls blackheads moisturizes dry patches and honestly it's it does exactly what it says it's amazing i love this product so what i do is before putting the product i splash my face with warm water again to open up the pores so the exfoliator really gets in and it cleans the whole thing so after that i take some product in the spatula and then i put it on my face and i rub it in a circular motion gently and i'm very careful around the eye area and even the cheek area because it's already like acne prone and I don't want to irritate the acne if, if, if there's any acne on my face. So I gently rub all over my face in a circular motion and then I again wash it off with warm water. And the consistency once it meets uh, water is like it's kind of milky and it's just like you can just see it cleaning your pores and it's one of the satisfying things you can actually experience. And it also helps take the residue that this cleanser may have left behind so which is also great and once that is done um, I want to tone my face because at this point I have used like around three products on my face and I want to bring back the pH levels on my face so I do uh, toning the toner that I use is the body shop seaweed toner and it is oil balancing toner And it's marketed for combination and oily skin so that's exactly why I bought it and um, it's a good product actually um, I've been using this for like eight to nine months now and it, I've only gotten like around here and what I do is typically take this product in a cotton round and I just go one full swipe over my face and just to thoroughly clean up your face and like tone your face as well and but I'm honestly not too crazy about this product it didn't, it didn't break me out but if it's over I wouldn't repurchase this I would want to try different toners and see what other products that are there in the market that could work a lot better so yeah but I don't have any problem with this product it's really good but yeah so the last or the second last step is once I tone I again go back to my moisturizer and I put like a very very thick layer of this moisturizer on my face and I just go to bed it looks it's almost like a sleep mask and it's one of the best products to put on your face before you go to bed because you know it's gonna work when you're while you're sleeping and if you just wake up the next morning it, not with a dry face but like not very like, glowy face and it's amazing so yeah so that is my skincare routine it's basically makeup removal cleanser exfoliator toner and moisturizer and most important lip balm I missed a step so the last last step that I do before I go to bed is lip balm. Um, this is the your classic um, Vaseline lip balm. Uh, I actually want to try the Laneige uh, lip balm pink container product. But uh, once I'm done with this, I'm going to get that and I will test it out. So I'm very excited to try that out. So a few other things that I do uh, to keep my skin uh, not act up that much is to drink a lot of water I know you might have heard this so many times but it honestly makes a lot of difference I try to drink at least 1.8 to 2.5 liters of water I uh, every day and it's really really important stay hydrated drink water every day and I also try to make sure I change my pillowcase every time I wash my hair I want a fresh pillowcase so it also like helps reducing your cheek acne because you tend to lie down after a long day on the pillow and it, your germs might accumulate in the pillow and it's very very like it's kind of gross so I try to change my pillowcases as well as often as I can and that also helps me a lot in uh, keeping my skin a little calm and normal and not break out that much that's about it thank you so much for watching if you found any of the information that is told in the video or the products that I spoke about in the video helpful and don't forget to comment down and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos and if you have any other video suggestions then please leave it on the comment below and i will do it thank you see you next time